The Vivo X50 Pro smartphone. It really emphasizes on a sick camera setup and a sick camera setup it has. But is the camera setup enough to justify such a high cost? It's 3,199 ringgit. And for me, I've never imagined myself paying that much for a phone like this from a brand like this. You know, for Vivo, I've always associated them with making really decent entry level to mid-range smartphones. This is an attempt to be just a flagship, but I would just say it's a premium mid-range or like, you know, an almost flagship. Chipset, Snapdragon 765G. 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal memory space, but with no means of expansion. You have a SIM card tray that gives you two standby nano sims and that's about it no headphone jack usb-c all the way the display is pretty sick though it's a 90 hertz amoled panel which is at full hd plus resolution with hdr 10 plus support it lives up to its intended use the colors were really good the details were excellent and i would say you'll get a really nice viewing experience if you're just using this to watch shows and the fingerprint sensor is built into the display and it's very very fast and responsive that's what i like you know quick and easy there's a really nice navigation system going on this is the fun touch os 10.5 which is android 10 out of the box and everything is just so buttery smooth you can tone it down to 60 hertz if you like but even at 90 hertz this lasts me all day with that type c port at the bottom what type of charging do you get this is the vivo flash charge 2.0 charging brick you charge it via usb type a to type c it's 33 watts it's a decent wattage for by today's standards you get about 55 percent from flat in about half an hour and if you want to fully charge this from flat to 100 you're looking at about just over an hour which is well again up to today's standards the battery pack is 4315 milliamps it's a respectable number and i don't think we needed like you know something so huge because this is not a big phone this weighs less than 200 grams it's really really slim and i'm digging that matte finish it actually does a really good job uh hiding fingerprints away but it's not a hundred percent unavoidable you'll get a case in the box just slap it on if you feel more comfortable about it and just go about your day this camera system is really really sick 48 megapixel wide sensor 8 megapixel periscope telephoto 13 megapixels a portrait 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 32 megapixel front-facing shooter like i said we see quad camera setups everywhere these days and this is no exception but the one thing that just really took my interest was the built-in gimbal system. It totally destroys any other smartphone out there in terms of stabilization in, in video. And this is because this is hardware assisted over software assisted, which is common in smartphones of today and this year on any scale, flagship, mid-range, you name it this gimbal works it's not necessarily a gimmick but again because it's just so small in terms of its form factor there are certain uh limitations in what you can get you know if you choose to maximize that gimbal benefit this is not going to replace a camera that's attached to a gimbal i have to say that because even though I like it so much, I have to be really realistic. The stabilization is really, really good. You can walk, you can run, you can jog, and you'll barely feel and see that shake in post. And that for me was just phenomenal. But for almost 3,200 ringgit, is it worth it? You know, does it do everything else right? With that operating system being kind of already optimized the battery life is good the chipset is actually okay you you can use this to play games i can definitely 
uh, guarantee you that you won't be disappointed in that respect. But, you know, for a price like that and for a chipset like this, you're definitely looking at way more competitors if you're just wanting to get a smartphone just for gaming. So get that out of your head. Focus on what matters, which is the camera system. You'll be getting very consistent results all across the board. The 32 megapixel front-facing shooter is also really, really good. The portrait mode does a decent job uh, eliminating uh, the background really well and focusing on you know the main subject, which is, I would assume, your face. But if you know what you're doing, if you if you have prior knowledge and expectations and how to use them in a realistic yet result bringing fashion, this is a really excellent camera phone to recommend, even at that price range. Maybe I'll be just a little upset about not being able to expand my memory, but you know, cloud's always there. 256 gigs is not small either. And eight gigs of RAM is definitely enough to run Android anyway. And just use this to take photos. Just use this to take really, really wonderful videos. You go on holiday, you walk in the street, you just want nothing but absolute smoothness. You want to leave your gimbal in the house. This, the X50 Pro. As far as that goes, this device actually does get a little warm. I've done nothing but shoot video and take photos and uploading them from time to time. It does get warm. And that's just because, you know, I'm actively using the camera sensor and then using my data to upload it to my social networks. Don't be shocked by that. This is just simple uh, use cases that everyone falls into. Just practice using these features moderately. You won't be burning your hand anytime soon. My final thoughts, who's it for? Easy. Social media uh, bloggers, vloggers, uh, mobile photographers, videographers, the TikTokers, the Instagrammers, even people like me. I see myself using a device like this to be like an offhand camera when I am busy using my uh, Sony for something else. This is actually a really good solution. Even when I'm taking event videos, I want some certain quick B-rolls. This definitely makes quick work of that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Zender Geek. This has been my review of the Vivo X50 Pro. I want to see more of this Vivo. Maybe not too expensive next time. See you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.